Good morning, folks. Everybody's been wanting to see this chopper in action. What we've got here, this man's got, that was logged about six years ago. And they haven't done anything to it since. And we're going to get in here and he's going to put a circle in here, another pivot. We've got about 75 acres here we're going to do. This is the regrowth from when it was logged to pull the hardwoods off and some wild pines. And, you know, this whole stuff's six, eight inches. And uh, we're going to put this chopper in here and run over it one time, and then we're going to rake it with a rubber tire. A buddy of mine's got his rubber tire out here. We're going to rake all the shinery off of it and put it over in a burn pile. After we get through raking and everything, we're going to hit it with this old roam. Uh, but everybody's going to want to see what this chopper, you know, there's not a lot of choppers left, and good Lord, they're expensive, and they're hard to find anymore. But this old thing weighs 26,000 pounds. We're going to drag it through here with a dozer. We'll find stumps. We'll find down trees and logs. Jimmy Hoffa may be back in here. You don't ever know on this old stuff. It's, it's, you go over them old stumps with a dozer, and, and you'll see the chopper going up in the air and kicking sideways. And it's pretty interesting. So, you know, this old, this old stuff got away from them here like it does. You know, it's 20 foot tall right now. And... Uh, this old one pass with this chopper. There's several ways to do it. You know, it just depends on what county you're in, how big your, your purse is, and what you want, how much you want to spend to rejuvenate your land, get it back usable. Right now, man, this man here's got a uh, a leaf farm, and, and, and <laughs> I mean, old land's got zero value other than he has to pay taxes on it. You know, it, uh, but this old chopper here, it, it uh, it's got ten inch blades on it. Like I say, this old stuff's 20 foot tall in a lot of places here. You'll see it in a minute and we'll go through it. This old chopper's got uh, 14 10 inch blades on it, weighs 26,000 pounds, and it slices this stuff and just lays it down. It just devastates it. And uh, if you let it sit there and dry out, you can, depending on where you're at now, you can burn it in place or you can pile it up and burn it. You know, if you'll wait a couple months after you chop it like this, you can get in here and run that plow over it. If you don't want to wait, you can scrape it off there with the rubber tire or any kind of a rake set up, and that's what we're going to do here. But you can see that dozer going by that stuff. That stuff, that dozer's 10 foot off the ground. So, And uh, you'll see some more as the video goes by. But a lot of people, <clears throat> they come down here to Florida and they buy 10, 20 acres of land. Well, the big boys ain't going to show up out there with a chopper. It's it's a job to get the dozer on one load, the chopper on one load, and that thing is a monster to load and unload. But you can see that old dozer, it, it's got 31-inch uh, pads on it times two, so you got almost six foot knocking that stuff down versus if you go through there with a skitter, you got a rubber tire. That dozer just you know, with the rake down low kind of, but you can see it going over them old stumps and everything right there. It'll kick it sideways and all that. It uh, it makes little bitty sticks out of everything. Old things. It, it's extremely heavy and sharp. Uh, I think they're seventy plus thousand dollars new now. If you get one, that's a Martin right there. Uh, good chopper. That shows you what the dozer's doing there. Lay that stuff on the ground. You can see that old country's rough. It's it's a lot of vines there. Not so much tall stuff. You can see her coming up out of the draw there, and it uh, it's hard on old equipment to do that. There's one of them old logs we run over right there. It, uh, you ain't no telling what you're gonna find out there, and it, <laughs> it gets pretty interesting sometimes. Or you hit them old stumps, and they're three and four foot tall. Them old hardwoods, depending on how high up the ground they, you know. But uh, you chop it like this, and then you get in there and scrape that stuff off, and and and. Uh, where you can get that plow down to the ground. If them blades on that plow get to the ground, it'll do some. It's got 32 inch blades, weighs 10,000 pounds. That old roam does, and it uh, you got to spread out pretty wide. And them gangs, uh, it'll really tear that soil up. And, and people say, well, what about all them all them roots out there? And I said, well, them ain't roots no more. They little bitty sticks, and they, you know they'll deteriorate. But uh, you can't get all of it. I mean, I guess you can, but yeah, you probably run out of money time you get. 15 people out there picking all the sticks up. But you can see that's 20 foot tall stuff. There's that buddy of mine. He's out there with his rubber tire. And you can see where he's been pulling all that stuff off. See, and he's putting it all. He's raking it, clearing it off where we can get that plow down in the ground. So he he, uh, he helps me on jobs. And then I go help him 
you need something raked, that's his phone number on the side there. Here we are, the final plow. We, we're pulling that old roam. If you look off to the left of that plow right there, you'll see that he's got it all scraped off. And, and uh, them old blades, that 32-inch disc, they run an axle deep, so you got 16-inch rudders. Furs is what we're putting down there with that old plow. So I hope this answers y'all questions. Uh, if you got any comments, uh, get after it. And if you need to know something, give me a call. You're welcome to give me a call.